Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bourbon Bar. I'm Holden and today I'm going to be reviewing Sazerac de Forge Cognac. Now for those of you who aren't aware, Lauren and I, my fiance and I, uh, we went to New Orleans not too long ago and we visited the Sazerac house and in the Sazerac house they sell this cognac. This is about $130 and it is from Cognac, France and there's a lot of historical ties with this Cognac and the Sazerac house and everything that has to do with Sazerac as a company. Now, one of the Sazerac's originating areas was New Orleans where they had a place called the Sazerac house and in that house um, they made Sazerac cocktails and Peychaud's bitters and a lot of things like that which eventually led to making the Sazerac cocktail. Now, long, long time ago, over in France, what they did is they made a cognac called Sazerac de Forge Cognac. Now, at the time, this was all Sazerac was known for. This was way before they made uh, any kind of rye or even owned Buffalo Trace or anything like that. Uh, so, this is very old-timey Sazerac and very vintage. Um, the blue here on the bottle, can, whatever you want to call this, is coined as Sazerac Blue. It's their very own color. Um, but yeah, so this bottle has a lot of history behind it and it is from the Sazerac house in New Orleans. So as you can see there, very, very pretty bottle. And the neck tag is also very nice. It also comes with a scroll parchment paper. It's a very cool looking textured paper. Um, telling a lot about the history of like Sazerac and how everything it says a cognac as rich in history as it is in depth and complexity So kind of explains the history of the cognac and Sazerac brand and all things like that But long story short this cognac is made from a few different grapes uh, It's not your typical cognac which a lot of cognacs are made from the same kind of grape but a long time ago, when they originally made this cognac, it was made out of specific grapes, and then it was taken out by a certain type of bug, took out all the grapes in cognac, France. Now, um, since then, they all switched to a different kind of grape, but Sazerac has decided to go back to their original grape recipe with um, the kind of grapes that they used for their original cognac in order to make this um, master cognac blend. Now, I am super excited to get into this. I did have it on my live stream. If you guys were there, then you would have watched it, but it is really good whiskey, and I can't wait to tell you guys how fantastic it tastes. Now, this bottle is 47% alcohol, which comes out to 94 proof. Um, there's not an actual age statement on the bottle, but it is a blend of cognacs aging up to 50 years old. So there is some really old stuff in here, but there's also probably some young stuff in here as well. Obviously, it's not going to all be 50-year-old cognac, but it is um, a blend of multiple different things. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get this on the nose and let you guys know how fantastic it is. Okay, first thing that jumps out of the glass, grapes, just instant grapes. Um, there's a bit of a maltiness that I'm getting. There's like a caramel in there as well, but overall I feel like there's this um, musty malty tone that you usually get in like kind of a scotch note, like a lighter scotch, uh, a nice honeyed scotch. There's like a honey in here, maybe like um, a butter cookie type honey, something that you might get out of an Irish whiskey as well, but it smells very rich and viscous. There's like a lot going on with it. Super floral. Um, it kind of has like a whole bouquet of flowers and a little bit of like earthy tones in it as well. Wow, that's I mean that's like really interesting. So so Sazerac does own Buffalo Trace. So this technically is from the same people that make Buffalo Trace and all the BTAC bottles. But this is what they had originally started making. Uh, I did make a Sazerac cocktail with this and. It was pretty good. I think I preferred it with Sazerac rye, but this had brought um, a definitely new dynamic to the cocktail itself, which was really, really nice um, to explore. But overall, I'd say nose is overwhelmingly um, grapey, floral, malty, vanilla, um, and it's got a little bit of that like earthy and like florally aspects to it. But it's really nice and uh, really sweet, definitely very sweet. But we're gonna go ahead and get it on the palate and let you guys know how that is. Okay, so 
right away that sweetness from the grapes is there however it does add a bit of spice in there as well maybe like a nutmeggy almost like an anise but not quite I, I wouldn't say anise it's not quite black licorice enough but it does have like a spice there's some chocolate on the palate here um, chocolate and maybe like a nougat almost like a three musketeers bar not a lot of caramel in here so I wouldn't quite call it a Milky Way but Three Musketeers probably would be a good note for it. Very like dark notes mixing in with that light fruit. There's some good oak influence in there as well. Really nice. But overall, I would say that it's nice, full bodied and rich and viscous. It's got a vanilla nougat -y, like vanilla cream, I want to say. Taste mixed in with a like nice dark chocolatey taste. Um, Oak present, grapey, definitely sweet on the palate, on the initial, but it also has a lot of spice that comes with it, which is really interesting because of how sweet it smells on the nose that it offers so much spice in the actual palate. Um, leaves a decent finish and it's not, I wouldn't say a long finish, but definitely a, a medium finish on this one. Overall, really nice and I would say it's really good. But before we go on with the video and I tell you guys whether or not you should go search for this whiskey, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about today's sponsor. All right, everybody, the sponsor of today's video is Wrist Mafia. Now, for those of you who haven't watched my original ad for Wrist Mafia, I started working with this company uh, roughly a month ago and they had sent me some watches to review and tell you guys about. And so I've been wearing them for about a month and they're amazing. I mean, they're durable, they're nice quality watches, they're nice and heavy and they feel like they're made of quality materials. They hold, they're holding up really nice and I gotta say, if you guys haven't checked out Wrist Mafia, go do it. So Wrist Mafia is a subscription based company where you can spend $40 a month and get watches sent to your door every single month. Now these watches are worth $100 or more, so you're definitely getting bang for your buck. And they come every month randomly selected by someone at Wrist Mafia. Now, these watches that you guys are gonna get are they may not mean something that you picked out, but the best part about them is that it may bring you out of your comfort zone. You'll have a lot of different watches and a lot of different varieties that will match whatever outfit you decide to choose to wear that day. Today, I'm wearing my Central Milano from Wrist Mafia, and overall, this is a really nice watch. It's black and sleek and they're really sexy looking. It goes with a lot of outfits that are have a darker tone, like my black bourbon bar shirt. However, if you guys aren't in the watch game and you know someone who is, you can definitely check out Wrist Mafia's subscription plans where you buy three to six months of a subscription and send it to someone as a gift. Now these are all three months or six month subscriptions so you can buy it, give it to your significant other as a present and for the next three to six months, that significant other could be getting free watches every single month delivered to your door. But if you guys don't take my word for it, you can definitely visit their Instagram page where they have tons and tons of testimonials from people who have the watches every single month and they talk about how much they love it. They also have a ton of pictures on there of different watches that they offer. Super cool, so check out their Instagram page. And if you guys haven't yet, go check out Wrist Mafia's website and maybe consider joining the Mafia. But that's it for this ad. Thank you to Wrist Mafia for supporting me and you guys should go support them too. Anyway, back to the video. All right, everybody, we're back from that ad and I think it's time that I give this whiskey a grade and let you guys know if you should go to New Orleans and buy this whiskey. So... Overall, this whiskey was $130, which is a lot of money for a lot of people. Now, I wouldn't have probably bought it if I wasn't on vacation, and New Orleans wasn't the only place you can get it. Uh, I'm sure you could probably order this online as well, but when you're in New Orleans, the home of the Sazerac, and you're at the Sazerac house, there's no better place to buy this bottle, and for $130, I think it's completely worth it. So, my overall grade for this cognac is an 8.6. I'm not very well versed in the drinking of cognac and I haven't had too many cognacs, but what I have had is this Sazerac de Forge cognac and it's pretty damn good. Now, if you guys like bourbon or you like normal whiskey, I think you should definitely reach out and give cognac a chance. It's a sweeter and a little bit different tasting than a typical bourbon would be. However, it offers a lot and brings a lot to the table, so you definitely should go out and try it. And for $130, is it a lot of money? Yes, but you're getting the whole presentation, story, and culture of this cognac. So I definitely think if you're on vacation or if you just have the money, definitely pick it up. Um, go to New Orleans, have a good time, drink on Bourbon Street, and pick up a bottle of cognac. But that's the end of the video. So if you guys liked it, please hit the like button and do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if you guys have ever had this very rare cognac and how you guys liked it. That being said, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the next class.